Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. In boxing, you find a way to win or you find a way to lose. Terrence Crawford should fight, um, should sign with most valuable promotions with Jake Paul Jizzle P. That's right, I said it, that's what I think. I think for Terrence Crawford, his profile's already been established. Terrence Crawford, you know, arguably the pound for pound best fighter on the planet at this moment, okay? It's a lot of back and forth between him and Canelo Alvarez, Saul Canelo Alvarez. But the problem with Terrence Crawford, you see, when he was signed to Aram, Aram lost a lot of money on him. Aram doesn't like losing money. Aram has a large stable of fighters, so for him, it's all business, no love loss. He's been doing this a super long time, probably with the damn mob be behind him. But he's been doing it a super long time, so he kind of knows what his uh, wrist, uh, wrist tolerance is on a fighter. And he definitely knows about how much, uh, when it's time to throw the towel in. But the way things unfolded towards the end of his relationship with Terrence Crawford is a little bit foul. Um, and I don't blame Terrence Crawford for it's kind of dissing Bob Arum at that uh, press conference after he had defeated Sean Porter. Okay? All is fair, uh, in my opinion, when it comes to war. But now we look at what's going on with Terrence Crawford. You got Bob Arum saying stuff like Terrence Crawford's not mentally stable and how he feels Terrence Crawford will lose to Earl Spence because he doesn't think that he's a He's there mentally to prepare or to be professional enough to prepare for a guy like Earl Spence. So obviously, Bob, we all think Earl, we all for the most part feel like Earl looks super spectacular against your Danish Hugas. But Earl Spence got touched up in that fight too. But when it comes to Terrence Crawford, Bob Arum kind of took another shot at him. But Bob Arum knows Terrence Crawford better than all of us. Most of us. There may be some people out here who know him personally, but for the most part, the majority of us, we don't know Terrence Crawford. We just know what we see in the media. And we see on uh, in interviews, and then we start to form an opinion about him. But when it comes to one thing I do know, when it comes to Terrence Crawford, is I think his profile is has reached a point to where he doesn't need to be with these traditional little big-name promoters like a Bob Arum. He doesn't need to mess with Luda Bella. I thought Eddie Hearn would be a good fit, but Eddie, Eddie Hearn doesn't want to touch him because Eddie Hearn doesn't want to lose any money on anything on anyone, which he's about to lose that million dollars on this bet he made with Jake Paul, in my opinion, but that's neither here nor there. So Terrence Crawford doesn't need that. So you look at a guy like Mayweather who's trying to bait Terrence Crawford in. Look, this just Terrence Crawford isn't the kind of person who will just sit back and allow Mayweather to take his shine, steal his shine. I think that would end up in Terrence Crawford and Mayweather having a physical altercation, to be honest with you. Terrence Crawford's not going to sit there and allow Mayweather to take over his press conference and and just start running his mouth and get back on subjects about himself, even though, like I did another video about Mayweather, he can only relate things in life and to himself and to boxing because that's what all this man has done. He can't talk about anything else. So I don't think Mayweather's necessarily trying to steal the moment from his fighters, like he does tank all the time. But at the same time, I think Mayweather needs to know when to kind of reel things in and talk and listen more and talk less, which he doesn't do all the time. And sometimes as a promoter, you have to talk a lot, but he needs to figure out a different method uh, when deciding on, on how to approach his response to questions because you, you got to keep it geared more around your fighter. And I just don't see Terrence Crawford being okay with that. I can see him interrupting Mayweather and say, well, well, hold on, I, this is how I feel or this isn't about you. Like, I could see him get to a point, a breaking point, unlike Tank, where Crawford will say something during the interview. Um, but at, at the same time, that's, that's kind of low-threat stuff. Right? That's, that's queep kind of stuff. The biggest problem with Crawford signing with a guy like Mayweather is Mayweather can't get him no big fights. 
You know, he can't get him the big fights. He's not going to get him big money. Okay, well, Crawford's not going to make 15, 20 million with Mayweather. He's not going to make that. He signs with Al Heyman, PBC. His person should, should start looking pretty good. Then he'll have a platform. Um, and he has a stable of fighters that he can, he can get in there and he can bang with. And that could be probably one of the better moves for him. So I think that would be a, a, a second best option to me. So I say leave top rank alone. Don't go anywhere near Mayweather. But if you're going to do it, mess with Al Heyman and PBC as a second, op- second best option. The number one option to me, as I think Terrence Crawford, he should look to get with Jake Paul, Jizzle P. Yeah, I think he should sign to Jizzle P. Because Terrence Crawford has suffered with getting the audience, getting the pay-per-view numbers. Okay, he's got the boxing fans. He just, outside of that, he doesn't really appeal to anyone. As soon as he links up with Jizzle P., Terrence Crawford, his platform goes to the roof. Now he's got Jizzle P uh, pushing him. And you see, sometimes, right, and this is, this, is, this is the truth, right? Whether you agree with what I'm saying or not, we're all tools. And what I mean by that is everybody, depending on your, for most relationships, we're tools to each other, okay? So depending on what you need to do, and that's the tool you go and you grab, and you get things done with it, okay? So boxing, boxing promoters and fighters, they're just tools to each other. The promoter uses the boxer to fix certain things and get what they want. The fighter uses the promoter to fix certain things, get what they want. And in this instance, I think Terrence Crawford should sign with Jake Paul because he's gonna. I think Jake Paul can help Terrence Crawford get big fights. I definitely do because money talks. I don't care what anyone says. Money talks, man. And Jizzle P, I think Jizzle P can get Terrence Crawford the, the $15, $20 million paydays. Also, unlike Bob Arum, who complained about the money he lost, Jake Paul doesn't care. Jake Paul, right now, because he's so, I think, innocent, he wants the best for fighters. So I think Terrence Crawford should... She should get in, get in with Jake Paul uh, on a type of deal where he has the flexibility to fight anywhere he wants and just use the Jake Paul machine to help raise his profile, get him the big fights, get him the largest purses possible because Jake Paul, does, Jake Paul doesn't care about money. The, the, I just did, recently did a video. Jake Paul doesn't care about money. I think Jake Paul could really help make the fights uh, with Terrence Crawford um, and really help the pay-per-view numbers and help raise his profile and put him in an excellent position. Now, if he signs with Jake Paul, I honestly think him signing with Jake Paul will help make that Spence fight a lot faster because Spence is not stupid. Spence is going to look and say, okay, what's going on here? I know I can sell out 40000 by myself right there in Arlington in Texas. But he hook up to fight Terrence Crawford you know, that's going to sell out. It should sell out almost anywhere you go. But if you bring Jake Paul on the team now as Terrence Crawford's promoter for a one or two fight deal, whatever it is, that they're going to they're going to they're going to need a a damn stadium, 100,000 people, 150,000 people. You know how many people are going to come to that fight because of Jake Paul? And a person can say, "Man, you're talking crap." No, I, I really think Terrence Crawford should try it. It's like when the zone came out. You look at Tevin Farmer. Who's going to sign Tevin Farmer? Nobody's going to sign him. Eddie Hearn came out. The zone had money. They were paying guys more money than what they, they should have to build up their roster. And the guys who came over there, they benefited greatly. Jesse Vargas. Jesse Vargas came over there, man. He wasn't going to make no real money. He's still fighting over there getting money. You know, Andre went over there getting money. Gerald Miller getting money. But Tevin Farmer, over there getting paid. Couple million dollars a fight. Changed this man's life. He would have never got that kind of money being signed to anybody else. But what I'm saying is, they did that, Regis Progre, they got their money, and it is what it is now. I think Terrence Crawford should do the same thing. Get with Jizzle P, kind of new, some new money. He has a platform, he's actually boxing, um, he's controversial, but I don't think he's going to sit there and try to and try to uh, 
shelf Terrence Crawford. I think he's actually going to sit there and be excited to have him. He's going to break his back to do whatever he can, even if that means giving Terrence Crawford, you know, more money than what he's probably going to make uh, on as as a profit to just keep Terrence Crawford happy and to, to grow his profile. I think it's showed that up front as a loss, which is fine because this man has to do write-offs at the end of the year for his businesses. So, I mean, uh, that's probably just a tax write-off to make sure he doesn't have to pay anything back to Uncle Sam. Might as well put it in your fighter's pockets as a, and write it off as a loss. So I just think that's smart business. But I really think you got to look at what Jake Paul is planning on doing with these eight-figure paydays for his fighters. And I think Terrence Crawford needs to, needs to sit back and really think about going forward. Like, how can it hurt him? He's already been fighting the shit, not even, not even once a year. So how can it hurt him by, fight, by signing to Jake Paul? And he's got such a huge profile, uh, Crawford, as far as his name and uh, being one of, the, one of the guys listed as a pound for pound best. He has, so, he, has, he has so much flexibility and so much leverage going into a negotiation with Jake Paul. And Jake Paul isn't there like Bob Arum and those other guys who are going to try to squeeze him. He's going to be so glad to have him, he can probably give him more than what he's asking for. And Terrence Crawford will still be able to go around and just fight wherever he wants because most valuable promotions wants to be able to do that. They don't want to just pigeonhole himself to where their guys can't get any fights. They're like, no, fight anywhere. I'm not going to hold you back from going out there and, and being successful. That's what Jake Paul wants right now. I think in a couple of years, if things don't work out the way Jake Paul plans, I think then a lot of that changes. But right now, he's got the money. He's got the machine, the platform. He's looking for talent. He's signing people. And I just think we're going to see kind of like what happened with the zone up front. There are going to be some smart people who get over there, get their money, and then whatever may happen after that happens. But they're going to make their money up front opposed to making the money mid, uh, at the midpoint in their career on the tail end of their, their career. They're going to get on the front end. And um, I think Terrence Crawford should look at where he is in his career, where he is as far as his age, with those beautiful children he has. The, his kids are extremely athletic. Look at his, his uh, what's happened to him historically, being on the top rank, all the criticism and ridicule that he's received, the fact that he couldn't get huge fights because of, just the whole top rank political crap, whatever, and all the BS with all the other uh, uh, pr- promoters. And he should just take a look at someone who's kind of neutral and go to him because everyone's going to work with Jake Paul because of the money that this man brings behind him. And that's the advantage Jake Paul has. No matter what he does, I said in the other video, man has, you know, 18, 19 million, you know, followers. You just get. A couple million of those to buy pay-per-view events. Jake Paul decided to go and do something crazy and make sure he planned something uh, dramatic. These boxing matches, something to make people want to tune in. I'm talking about his his follower, his followers, something that would make them want to tune in and spend, tune in to spend their money. And Jake Paul could come out here and start breaking pay-per-view records just because of his profile. And and Eddie Hearn's not stupid. Eddie Hearn's watching, and he's that's why he's working with them. People. Pay attention. Jake Paul is going to come in here, and I think the, th- the move to make for fighters, especially a guy like Terrence Crawford, who has the profile, just doesn't have the, 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 the marketing team behind him and doesn't really have the money behind him to get with a guy like Jake Paul and really improve his situation. And then, you know, Jake Paul benefits greatly too. You, you're able to pull a guy like Terrence Crawford over, you can pull a whole lot of other fighters over. It's like the zone when they got Canelo over there. If Canelo goes over there, fighters start paying attention. If Terrence Crawford goes over there, fighters are going to pay attention. So don't be surprised if it happens, especially with a guy like Jake Paul looking to pay, you know, eight-figure salaries to people on his roster. You know, of course he wants to work towards that, but that's the goal. And, and I think he knows what he brings to the table, and he knows that that's more than achievable. And uh, sometimes lofty goals – are uncommon for common people, but lofty goals are also common for the uncommon. And Jake Paul's uncommon. So his, his goals are going to be extremely lofty, and I think he can do it. But I really think, in my opinion, Terrence Crawford needs to figure it out because I just, you look at a lot of people who signed with Floyd Mayweather, I think, you know, in Vegas, they probably have a lot of little shows. But, I mean, aside from Tank Davis, 
Badu Jack, he's still kind of inconsistent. I mean, that was, that was his name, uh, Mickey Bay. I couldn't remember his name in another video. Mickey Bay and those guys, Jaylion Love. Who's really, who do you see Mayweather with except for his exhibitions? He's with himself, promoting himself with Tank Davis. Aside of that, who do you see him with? You know, and you got to pay attention to that. But Jake Paul right now, man, if everything works out very successfully for Amanda Serrano, works out for himself in his upcoming fight, hopefully he takes on Tommy Fury and clips him. While he has the momentum going, I think that's a perfect time for Terrence Crawford to get involved with him and work out his money, $15, $20 million. Get that fight with Earl Spence going. You guys sell like four or five million pay-per-view because of Jake Paul's pro Jake Paul's profile. And I think, you know, if the stars lamp just right, that's those are things that could happen. But then, you know, conversely, the other side is none of that crap works out and Terrence Crawford still ends up in a horrible situation. So... I don't think it could get any worse. You know, like Trump said, you know, what do you got to lose? What does Terrence Crawford have to lose at this point in his career? That's the thing. You know, what? It doesn't matter what we think about Jake Paul. What, do, what we think about Jizzle P. Okay, j forget that. If you're really concerned about these boxers and these boxers making the most money, because their, their careers are, are limited, right? Why shouldn't Terrence Crawford take a shot at working with Jizzle P.? See what happens. Worst case scenario, his situation doesn't get any worse, doesn't get any better. But I can't see it getting any, any worse. I just see only good things happening if he starts to work with Jizzle P. Because Jizzle P is really trying to, 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 to do the right thing by boxers at this moment. I think as he continues to try to uh, you know, highlight the corruption in the sport, um, the, the unfairness, the, the issues with fighters receiving the pay they deserve, uh, females not receiving equal pay. I think some of these guys who are just still lingering around and making money off the fighters and not being fair to them, I think they're going to eventually try to black, blackball, Jake, blackball Jizzle P. And, um, but right now, before that happens, I think it's a perfect time to get with him and get your money. So Terrence Crawford, if you're watching this video, Yo, man, give Jake Paul a try. At least have a conversation with him and see what he's talking about. Y'all work it out. Tell him what you want. T Terrence Crawford, at this point in his career, should know exactly what he wants with everything that he's gone through. Terrence Crawford, man, he's athletic. He can box. Don't get me wrong. He's phenomenal. He's a a amazing, okay? But one of Terrence Crawford's, aside from his IQ, greatest attributes are his legs, okay? And with boxers like that who depend a lot on their legs, when they slow down, they just need to slow down a tad. Everything changes. Everything changes. And Terrence Crawford, I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon, but you never know when he's going to, his legs are going to slow down just enough to where he can't get away from punches and get little short step backs, step out on an angle, and he has long arms and get those counter punches off. You see, he relies a lot on those legs to get out of danger. He also likes to pull back. He has long arms so he can counter and hit guys when they think that they're out of range, but they can't because he has long arms. But before that happens, where those legs slow down, might as well take a shot at working with Jizzle P and try to get to the eight-figure paydays and, you know, I'm talking about $15, $20 million. I, can't, I don't see why he can't do it, especially with this machine behind him. Um, but anyway, I'm sure people have something to say about that. But Terrence Crawford, to me, should be, should be uh, at least having a conversation with him because right now nobody knows what's going on. There's people claiming that they signed him and they haven't. And no matter, no matter what, as much as we like Terrence Crawford, there are a lot of people who aren't really excited about getting anywhere near him because – you know, Terrence Crawford, you know, I wonder sometimes if he could sue Bob Arum for that statement Bob made, because that's like, that's like defaming his character, saying that he just doesn't want to talk to the media, he's a, he's a promoter's nightmare, and he doesn't, I've lost so much money on him. That hurt his money-earning potential, because that made all these other promoters say, whoa, damn, we wanted him because for his talent, but 
if, if this promoter is saying this about him, we're not going to touch him. And that's what happened with Eddie Hearn. So I wonder, I think there is a lawsuit going on right now. I think there is a lawsuit. I got to look into that. I don't want to throw crap out there, you know, just to get people to watch my video. But I, I honestly think there's some kind of legal action taking place. But, but Bob Arum did hurt his money earning potential by throwing that crap out there. Um, now, if it's true and he can prove it, but still, I, I, I just don't think he should have he should have done that. Because Bob Arum gets emotional, man. You know, he, he likes to rant and rave sometimes. But um, anyway, I think I've said enough, man. But Terrence Crawford, man, you know, I'm really looking for big things from him. And, you know, him and the Spence fight and just him getting on track and having three fights a year. Because this one fight every year, year and a half, uh, you know, it's horrible. Horrible. All that talent... And man should be fighting three, four times, at least three times a year. Getting busy, getting paid, out here shutting everybody down. And then he, sh he should have been up at 154 already. But he still has work to do at, uh, at 147, in my opinion. So that being said, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Shout out to all the veterans, Terrence Car Carford. Give Jizzle P a call. Try to get things going. I really want to see this man get a $15, $20 million payday. I think he's earned it. As always, I'm in the breeze.